What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Poor Investor. It is stupid early on a Saturday morning at 7 a.m. I'm trying to get this recording done. It's a pre-recorded before anything else. The reason being is because my kids are sleeping. This is the only time while they're still sleeping I can record. I'm gonna throw in a video. I'm gonna be a little busy today, but I wanted to go over a few things. I found it really interesting and I want to retract some of the things that I've said in a live. Not a lot of things, just probably one thing that I missed entirely and someone made a comment about it and it made so much sense. So let me go back to the original post that I was talking about on the live. It was right over here. But before we continue, am I regretting it? Am I fudding? Am I going to bite my tongue because the price of Chia is at $35.59? Is this the next bull run that we're talking about right now? Or is everyone still going to sell it off and bring the price right back down? I have no idea because of this. Because of the price going up, not just specifically Chia, in general, the crypto market, Bitcoin, Ethereum. I'm going to tell you a little secret that I did. And before we continue on with that, node count has been going up which is crazy. Price is going up. Node count is going up. Will the prices of hard drives go back up as well? I know a lot of you guys have been buying hard drives in this whole bearish market, which is insane. I can't, I can't even phantom the idea of buying more hard drives when the price was at $28. But as the price goes up, what happens? Everyone just jumps on this ship and say, hey, I want to get in on this. Did notice one thing. As I'm talking about it more, as other people are getting into Chia, the community is definitely growing. There's a lot of newbies. So don't get turned off when people are joining these groups on Facebook and Reddit and wherever else you guys communicate your Chia discussions on and you get these newbie questions. I'm trying to help these guys. I'm trying to understand where they're coming from because we all have been there. So please, please do not be disrespectful in whether it's in my comments or on these forums because the whole point is to grow the community, right? You So anyway, what was my point of today's video is because I did a video alive on Mr. Rick Shepard. And if you don't know what that discussion was, you could either go back onto my last live or check out this description below. I'm going to link this Facebook post. And this is where Mr. Rick Shepard went through the full details of how much he thinks he will earn in the next three years on the next bull run. He's hoping for it to four times X cash out at $120 in XCH and that's where he would be. He'll be in the net positive. So guys, the Facebook post is going to detail out the numbers that he did. He made a little adjustment. And so what I wanted to come on today was bring you the attention that he actually responded by watching that video, that live that I did. And he actually came back on and said a few positive words that he enjoyed my videos, that he didn't take offense to any of it, whatever I said, because I wasn't going at him. I was just trying to understand where he was coming on from his number perspective on how much he thinks he could profit from Chia. Now, remember guys, everyone's here. Yes, we like the project. You learn a lot. But at the same time, if there's a profit to doing all this, then why not? That makes it even more enjoyable. Now, would you be happy if you went in going at like $20,000 or $10,000 into a project already knowing that you would get nothing in, re in return, plus knowing that you'll probably have to come out of pocket even more. Thinking optimistically going into a project and saying, hey, if I do all this and if there's a potential that I can get back a good return or at minimum break even, that would be awesome, wouldn't it be? That was why I wanted to bring this to light, but I, I forgot to mention something here. And the thing was, and someone made a comment on my video was the having guys the having are coming soon for chia it's soon we got 2021 when it started to 2024 we're already in 2023 we just hit the first year so we have another year end of 2024 which we have literally another two years from now right and then it's half so by the third year it's already going to be half of that instead of two xch it's going to be one unless you're farming solo you're not getting two xch you're only getting the point was it point two five xch when you hit a block if you're on a pool which for the majority of us were on a pool so there is a you know discrepancy between you, you have to make the true calculation and of course just optimistically making a general uh broader 
observation of how much you would earn in the next three years because I totally, totally forgot about the damn having. The half the having is gonna make a huge impact on the amount of coins that you guys get. Everyone, let me go back as we're looking at these different options of building out your farm right now because the price is going up pair count is going up there's gonna be a halving in the next two years which is so soon halvings i guess we didn't never really considered a lot of it until we started hearing more about like oh bitcoin is going to be having soon as well right so the coin prices are definitely going to drive the momentum of how much miners farmers are going to jump onto a project even today i turned back on my if you guys can see it right here i turned on my mule coin miner and let me just show you guys really really quick what i'm talking about as i'm doing that i'm just gonna pull my screen a lot of you guys made a positive comment on my uh screen porn here which i appreciate that i thank you guys this is how i operate this is how i work i i love it unfortunately my my work office is i only have like two little monitors that i just can't do much with these are 24 24 27 and that's a 32 all right so let me just pull up something really quick. I also was looking at uh, hard drives on eBay. All right. And I'll show you guys in a little bit what I what I'm talking about. Don't think you guys can see that too clearly. As of today, I have I know this is not so much cheer related. I have yeah, 208,000 new coins right now. As of right now, I'm mining because the last few days it was pretty warm. And this morning I came down to my little you know, man cave, it was like 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So I was like, damn, it's cold. Um, so I popped open the um, the miners. Uh, well, it was 30 degrees outside, 30 plus outside. But then I was like, oh my goodness, I, I, I need to turn on the heat. So I, I ended up turning on my miner. So FYI, I turned on my miner for that. All right, uh, off topic a little bit. So here are the prices, guys. Guys, I sold my Ethereum this morning uh, on my Coinbase, Coinbase wallet. I transferred it over to my Coinbase account. From there, I sold it off. I made about, I, I said I made, but I probably, I mined Ethereum before, you know, they transitioned and I had a couple of thousand dollars. Uh, just today, I sold off the remaining few that I had because I, I'm not speculating that it's going to go insanely high. I'm not going to make a huge fortune of it, but for the price to go back up to where it was a few months ago, I ended up selling my, I liquidated my Ethereum and I got a couple hundred dollars, like six, seven hundred dollars, whatever it was. And I was like, you know what? What if I bought two more hard drives, 10 terabyte SAS drives for $79, they're refurbished. I still have a little bit of space because my 34 rack and I want to show you guys I have a huge thing coming up next week and I want you guys to be aware of that. I have Mike coming back on the show. He's going to be talking about MMX. So if you guys want to know about his MMX plotting and how fast he can do all that and then and the details of that come back. He's also the one that got me into this whole 34 rig uh, mining rig 34 hard drive mining open frame mining rig that I've, I've done a video on. Make sure you check that out below too. I, I'm, I'll link it in the description, both of them, so you know who Mike is because I will have him on next week. My point is, I still have room on this 34 rig, which is sitting over there on the left side, and I just may buy additional hard drives now. Just two, just two. Don't want to go crazy. I, I have a little bit of space, and I'm just going to probably populate that because the price of these hard drives are at $79 for a 10 terabyte. Now, I know you're going to come back and say, oh, for a little bit more, you could get the 12 terabyte. Oh, you could get the 14. Yes, I know. I can I can go up and up and up and I can always go further and further. But even replacing two ter 10 terabytes or getting two 10 terabytes to replace a couple of four terabytes and three terabytes that I have in the whole setup will probably reduce my footprint significantly because I think it's like two or three, maybe two and a half uh, three terabyte drives that can populate into a 10. All right, that's my point. Uh, with pot compression coming along, that'll be all even more awesome. And when and if that happens for Chia. So uh, again, I have Mike coming on early next week. We're going to be talking about MMX, state of Chia, whole bunch of things. So stick around, come back for that. And as always, this is a pre-recorded video, but don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe, whatever it is that YouTube people say. I'm saying it to you. Do it and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.